All right, this video is gonna go over how to create a three by three payoff matrix. So this is probably for your game theory or your oligopoly chapter. Uh, so the trick here is that we're gonna start off with two players. And they will each have three choices. So what we'll do is we'll set up the scenario. Uh, imagine they're going to enter a drawing for $10. And basically they have to bid to win that $10. So imagine the three choices are to bid zero, one, or two dollars and so whoever bids the highest wins uh, if they both bid the same amount then it will be a tie and they'll split the pot so we can imagine that we have a blue player and this blue player can bid zero one or two and similarly we will have a red player and this red player can bid zero one or two. And so then what we're gonna do is create this matrix that shows all of the different possible outcomes and then we can estimate the values of those outcomes. So first let's imagine if they both end up bidding zero. Well what's gonna happen? They're gonna split the pot. So blue is gonna get five dollars and red is gonna get five dollars. That's pretty cool. All right, now imagine that blue bids zero and red bids one. Well, that means red is going to win. So they get 10 and blue gets zero. Actually, it means red gets 10 minus one or nine. Now, what happens if red bids two? they're going to win and get eight and blue is going to lose and get zero we can do the same thing over here for blue if they bid one and red bid zero they'll get nine if they bid two they'll win and end up with eight whereas the red player will win nothing now let's look at the example where they both bid one well they tie and if they tie, they split the $10, so they each get five. So that means that we have blue ending up with four and red will end up with four as well. Now, what happens if red bids two and blue bids one? Well, red ends up winning, so they end up with eight and blue actually ends up with negative one because they bid one dollar but they lost that's not good same thing will happen over here and what we will end up with is an eight and then finally if they both end up bidding two they will split the five dollars and then we'll subtract two. And so what we end up with in this situation, oops, it's actually gonna end up being three. Uh, what we end up in this situation is a dominant or Nash equilibrium because we can see if the red player chooses to bid zero then the blue player has a choice between getting five, nine, or eight. If the red person bids one dollar, they have a choice between zero, four, and eight. And if the red ends up bidding two, they have a choice between zero, negative one, and three. So if the red person bids one or two, blue is going to choose two. If the red person bids zero, they'll choose to bid one. So it's not a dominant strategy, but most likely they're gonna end up choosing $2. We could do the same sort of analysis for red. They would also probably end up choosing $2. So this is going to be the most likely outcome, although it's not technically an Nash equilibrium. 
However, if they could just talk and coordinate, they could get to this equilibrium right here, which would be the cooperative equilibrium. You can see that both of the payoffs are higher in this cell than they are in the cell. Uh, in this cell right here where they both end up with three dollars. Um, but there's no incentive to end up staying here in the short run because if blue were to say okay I'm gonna bid two dollars well red could easily increase their payoff by just bidding one or two dollars. So this is how you create a three by three payoff matrix. I hope that was helpful.